Analyst firm NPD forecasting a happy holiday season for video game makers. The firm expects U.S. consumer spending on video games to hit $13.4 billion in November and December, a 24 percent increase from last year. One stock that could benefit is Logitech. The company which makes computer accessories and video game gear has been a big work from home winner doubling since the March lows. Joining us now is Logitech CEO Bracken Darrell. Bracken, thank you for being here. Uh, so it, it's not often that you see quarterly sales growth of 75 percent in a company that's four decades old. Uh, that's what you managed to do in your most recent quarter. I think the question among the analyst and investor community is now, now is how do you sustain that moving forward? Those are pretty tough cops. Well, the exciting thing is we're really driving behind very long-term secular trends. The work from home trend is, is here to stay. It'll become a work from home and office, which favors us. The conversion to video conferencing favors us. The, the growth of streaming creating by individuals that are, that are not uh, on camera like you are in a big, big uh, station or big company favors us. Uh, and the rise of gaming as a, as a sport, spectator and participant sport favors us. So really on these four big secular trends that are just going to keep going. How are you modeling the secular trend toward kind of a hybrid workforce? I think it was Deutsche Bank. There were headlines today saying that it was considering 40 uh, percent permanent work from home policy, for example. How are you looking at 2021 and what are your customers telling you with regard to their plans for uh, maybe shifting to more of a hybrid model? But we're seeing, yeah, we're seeing a hybrid model for sure. I mean, I think there are going to be uh, two extremes and then a big, big middle. The extremes will be, on the one extreme, will be a very small number of companies that will stay working from home completely. And then the other extreme will be those that go right back to the way it was before. Those two are going to be very small. The vast majority are going to be a combination of working at home and working in the office. And that's going to be, they're going to need great equipment in both places. How do you make sure you, you capture uh, more of the market share from that trend? I mean, when we just saw Apple's latest announcement, the way they've uh, upgraded their laptops to have uh, better cameras, better speakers, better microphones inbuilt, is that a, is that a threat to you? Uh, no, they're just such a large installed base. You know, if you think about how many people are using something that exists out there that doesn't have a great camera, doesn't have a great microphone, uh, all those are opportunities for us. And, uh, and having a separate uh, product in, in addition to that has its benefits. So, no, we don't view that as a threat. We just view all this entire trend as an opportunity for us. But it's part of a very long-term opportunity that's just going to keep going. What about your supply chain on that front? What flexibility do you have to react to a potential surge in demand or tick down in demand uh, if various developments arise with regard to the virus? You know, we've had a long, uh, we have a long history of ramping up and ramping down manufacturing inside our own factory, in partner factories owned by other companies. We've been doing this for almost 40 years. I think it's one of the reasons why we could meet demand with the 75% growth last quarter. Uh, we also used it to move manufacturing out of China into places in other places in Asia. So this is part of our flexible model. How are customers purchasing your products right now? Do you think or, or have you witnessed them doing so more in stores? Are you seeing a big ramp up in kind of direct to consumer e-commerce plays here? It's, uh, you know, it's, it's online. So there is some in-store buying, but the vast majority is online and uh, either through online retailers or, or omni-channel uh, retail retailers. And our own direct sales have also gone up dramatically. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.